if you have managed to hide your toolbars in Zara Designer Pro by mistake or intentionally, for example, if you just pull on them like this, they start to be floating. And the same happens to these ones and these ones and all of the toolbars can be moved actually into a floating dock, but also you can close them like this. So when you need to get them back, all you have to do is just right click here on the toolbar somewhere and tick the box to the one you've lost. For example, now I don't have my toolbar with the main tools. Enable toolbar from here and there it is. It comes out as a floating dock. You can resize it if you want to make it more narrow or you can dock it back in where it was by just dragging it to the side and you notice it changes size and move it up there and release it's going to slap to the top which if you don't want to move it down to the left and it's going to be back where you wanted where you had it before same with the other ones info bar there it is it comes in there and then you can just drag it onto the bar release and then if you're not happy with it just drag it and move it around i lost my standard bar here you go and just drag it here at the top and it's just going to make room for it and then you can arrange them. You can turn all of them on or off, like the alignment, you know. You can drag that also here. So this is how you manage your um, Zara Designer Pro interface toolbars. Also on the right side here, these are called galleries. They close automatically when you click outside of them in this version. If you want them to stay open, when you open them, just use this uh, auto hide function, tap it, uh, like that and it's going to stay you can then resize it and then it's going to stay there and you can you know go around even have two of them open here so there you have it you can switch between them at the bottom there so that's it i hope this helps